I am a lonely as fuck stay at home mom and I would love some friends. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are super chill. We chilling. And I really wanted to go over some travel essentials, especially since the holidays are coming up, all the holiday travel. I wanted to give you guys a video with my essential things. Most of the stuff is from Amazon. And if it's not from Amazon, you know I got an Amazon dupe for you. But before we get into today's video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if this is the first time you're ever watching one of my videos, welcome. And I hope I don't disappoint you. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the video. The first item is for all of my fitness lovers. I've never seen anything like this before in my entire life. It is called the Atlexo and it is the world's first luxury fitness kit. I'm just like so impressed with how it's made. It looks very nice on the outside, yes. But wait until you see the inside. It is a fitness pack with absolutely all of your travel fitness needs. It is just sickening. It says essentials for bodies in motion. So let me show you what comes in here. First of all, look at this jump rope and the bag it comes in. If you know, you know. Organizing a jump rope is a bitch. Okay, it's always all jumbled everywhere. The creator of Atlexo really came up with this dope system to store your jump rope. And I just think it's sick. And it just keeps it nice and tidy, which I appreciate. Yeah, this is just a self-locking speed rope. It ain't going nowhere. Handles, it's weighted. It's gonna be really easy for you to get your workout in, bitch. And it also comes with a massage recovery ball. We have the long resistance band. Literally, the workouts you can do with this is ridiculous, like hundreds and millions. Comes with a small loop small loop bands and like these are really unique because the intensity like this is like the strongest most resistant band called power second to heaviest is intensity third heaviest is called flow second to lightest is expand and then the lightest is called activate i love that because you've seen these bands a million times but to make something that's actually like unique and like makes sense chef's kiss these can be a biatch to, to store as well and keep organized. They also provided a nice little carrying case. So say you wanna just take these or you just wanna take the jump rope, it'll be so easy to do that. And then we also have the sliding core disc. So many things that you can do with these, whether it be lower body, upper body core. It's literally essentials for body in motion and they weren't joking. So sickening. It's actually made in the same place as Louis Vuitton, what Hennessy. Yeah, it's just a nice luxury item. Looks really cool. It also comes with a crossbody, which I think mine's downstairs. So it also comes with a nice little holder if you would want to hold it like that. Also has a handle on the side. I do prefer the crossbody. It looks dope. But yeah, if you're somebody who loves fitness and also appreciates nicely made luxury items, this is going to be for you or for somebody that you know who is that person. Next are these packing cubes from Amazon. These are major. Key. I think I'm missing one. I think it's in somewhere. It comes with two of these clothing, I think two shoe, and a couple of these. And I can seriously pack for myself and for my daughters in just these. I think it comes with five. There's five packing cubes and I can pack for like a full week for me and my two daughters. I have twins in just these five. It's pretty major. I'm not gonna lie. Like these packing cubes save my life save my booty i know like packing cubes aren't anything new but i'm somebody who kind of just got into them so maybe you are too maybe you haven't bought into the whole packing cube vibe trend but i highly recommend that you do and these are very inexpensive and I'm gonna use them forever they come in a bunch of different colors sitting here wondering why it took me so long to go and get packing cubes like hello yeah okay moving on this thing I just recently got as well. This is a toiletry bag, but it's that bitch. It is the toiletry bag of all toiletry bags. And let me explain to you why. Let me open it. Well, first, let me show you the front. It says Bag Smart. I guess that's the brand. Here in the front, you can hold your brushes. You can even probably hold like a toothbrush if you have the cover over it. Oh, I love those covers. Also, you can put like lip gloss and like just makeup in here. All of my makeup would not fit in here. We also have. I'm gonna explain to you why this is 
that bitch. It's a full product size toiletry bag. I've had so many toiletry bags in my lifetime, like from Vera Bradley, remember the vibe? And you can only pack like travel size items. This is insane. I can get like my full shampoo, my full condition, my full body wash, my full skincare, like everything can fit in here. And I appreciate that very much. So um, I went to the Bahamas this summer with my family and I packed my toiletry items along with my daughter's toiletry items. They have very beautiful 3B curly hair. So I have to, you know, obviously maintain their curls and their hair, make sure it's healthy and well taken care of. So they have a bunch of hair products and also like all of our sunscreens and bug spray, like it all fit in here for the entire week. I highly recommend getting a full product toiletry bag because I hate travel size things. I mean, I get the point, but I just want to feel at home. So I want to bring my full shampoo and conditioner. I don't want to squeeze it out of the little tube, you know? And I want to make sure I got everything. And I know you do too, so this is major. You need this. Bag smart, toiletry bag, very inexpensive. Comes in different colors. I got the black one. And yeah. Okay, next. Where are they? Okay, hear me out. For travels, you absolutely, positively... Wait, hold on. You positively, absolutely need corded headphones. Now hear me out. And not only do you need corded headphones, you need both jacks. You need the iPhone jack if you got an iPhone. You need an iPhone jack one. Stick it up in there. And then you also need the aux one, the aux cord looking one. You need both of them. It's essential, it's major, and you need them. I wonder how many times I've said major. So I have AirPods. I like them. They're cool, they're chilling. I get the I get the idea. But they die. What are you gonna do if like if you're traveling? Well, if you're on the airplane, it doesn't have a plug in and your and your AirPods die, what are you gonna do? You're gonna be real bored. So that's why I always have my iPhone headphones on lock. At all times, I've made the mistake of not bringing them and I was really upset at myself. So go get some iPhone corded headphones or whatever headphones work with whatever phone you have. And then I also like to bring old school iPhone headphone because if you're on a plane like JetBlue with TV and movies and you don't have an aux cord headphone like this or as long as you can plug it into the aux cord slot, you're gonna be upset because you're not gonna be able to watch anything. You have to read the subtitles the whole time, which is like okay and cool, but you're gonna probably be happier if you have an aux cord. I don't know what to call this, an aux cord headphones. That's what I call it. And I guess that's right. And you can buy them, but like why buy them if you already have them? You're gonna buy them every single time you take a jet blue flight? No, <laughs> they're like six bucks which is fine, but you already have yours on lock and you don't gotta buy them over and over again. You're gonna throw those away anyways. They're a piece of... Okay, yeah, go ahead and get yourself two pairs of corded headphones, one for whatever phone you have and the other one for the JetBlue flight. <laughs> or I think Delta has some um, flights like that as well or if you're like in first class, I don't know. I just know that JetBlue has them and some Delta flights do too, so. The next, let me go ahead. This is for like in flight or if you're in a long car ride. I recommend bringing some books. These are the two books that I'm reading right now. I just took them on a flight with me. Contagious by Jonah Berger and also Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I'm in the process of reading them. I love them so far. They're really cool. I got them both off of Amazon. Definitely pick up some books of your liking. And then along with the books, this is not sponsored. I know that Audible does so many sponsored videos and it's like cringeworthy when you watch them. Sorry, Audible. I love you. I'm, I'm about to recommend you to whoever's watching this video, but some of the branded content that you guys do with some influencers is pretty sketch and I don't appreciate it, but this is free press for you guys right now. Love Audible. Currently have the one for Contagious. I listened to it. I had a two and a half hour flight this past weekend or actually on Monday and I listened to this book the whole time and for me listening to it being read to me um, helps me retain it better. I don't know. It's just my brain. So I really like Audible. I'm a pro member, premium, whatever it's called, $15 a month and I really, really, really enjoy it. So and you can also crank up the speed. You can listen to things at like 2x. I don't. I'm around like the 1.5x speed with my Audible books depending on who reading but yeah I highly 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 recommend if you just like want to sit back and relax and just like listen to an audiobook I also follow along in the book as well while I'm reading it which helps me retain it I love it I love audiobooks I cannot recommend them enough 
So yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Um, the next couple of things are not on Amazon, but I live and breathe by them and I will find you a dupe and I will put it here for each one, okay? So my first must have is from Base, like Base Travel, the Shea Mitchells brand. This is the her makeup bag. I know they just kind of redid it to make it even better and I already loved it anyways. Mine's a mess. So it's a pretty good, you know, testament that I use this. It could be more, more organized, but I just love it. It's very spacious and I love the size. It also comes like with a detachable brush holder, like so. Love that. Also a mirror, I think the mirror is in my bathroom right now, but it also has like a mirror, pretty big one and a great one. It's a great that fits in here. And you can also put some things up in here, right here, whatever you want to put in there. And then it also has a pouch right here where I keep like bobby pins. What's this? I don't know, but like a bobby pin. So yeah, I love the base travel. I will find one that is similar, this one, and post it right here and also down in the comments for you guys to check out. But this makeup bag is superior. It's major. It's superior. It's essential. Like, I need this, like, in my life. It's so sturdy. I think they just redid the lining in it, so it's more clean it easier. So, yeah, I would highly recommend this one from Base Travel. Love it. Oh, this is... So this you can get. I love cute little passport holders. Um, and this one is very functional. It's just like a black leather passport holder, but it has like the United States of America passport like embossed on it. Can you see? Can you see it? I love that. And you can just open it up and it also has like a card holder and some uh, for some cash. Cash money. So yeah, I love that. Got it off of Amazon, very inexpensive. They come in different colors as well. I also have it in brown, brown leather. I just like the functionality of it. I like the embossing of the United States passport on the front. And yeah, I, I fucked with it. I fucked with it. Highly recommend. All right, the next thing is not on Amazon. It is this base travel, the weekender bag. I use this all the time, not just when I'm traveling. It actually has like diapers and stuff in it right now. I know they have a diaper bag, but I really like this. It's so functional. I love it. I take it on every single travel trip that I take, especially with my girls. It has like a nice storage down here for like shoes. Inside it has a, a place for your laptop and electronics, iPad, whatever. It also has a ton of pockets. One, two, three pockets. It has a pocket right here as well on the side. I always tend to find myself putting like my boarding passes and my ID in this pocket. So it's like an easy like because it has a pass through right here and it's always like hanging on my bag on my carry on my rolly so i just put like my boarding pass even though usually it's on my phone so i'll put my phone and my id like right here just for easy access i just love this thing i love it the pass through can also be a pocket it has a zipper on the bottom oh so they just thought this through it's nicely made i've had it for a while it's gotten drenched in seawater it's been <laughs> it's been through the ringer honestly and i think it's held up very nicely it does need to be clean but it's very easy to clean the canvas i did get the black one i can't speak for the beige one but i can speak for the black one it definitely has held up very nicely and we seriously use it all the time like when we go to like the soho house or if we go to the, for a beach day like we always bring this and you can pack so much stuff in it i love it i know that there are dupes on amazon so i will post them here and in the description box so highly recommend somebody's calling me oh does that mean my is it still going okay last but not least i cannot live without my ramoa i can't live without this um aji currently has a carry-on one with him um he has a shoot they are so functional durable everything and i know they're expensive so i'm about to give you some dupes but if you can splurge on a ramoa i would recommend splurging on a ramoa they just last so long and they're so functional i love mine i love it so much so yeah i think that's it you guys Oh, some other things that I can't live without that I don't have on me right this second and I would have to go on a search for them is definitely some travel like on the plane or in the car skincare. I always bring my jet lag mask from Summer Fridays and my Laneige lip mask. If I'm on the airplane, I will clean the space and then go right into my skincare. Once I also have my girls settled, it just locks in the moisture into my skin and my lips. My lips get super dry when I travel anywhere. Doesn't matter if I'm going somewhere humid, if I'm going somewhere tropical, same thing. If I'm going somewhere super dry, doesn't matter. Like my lips will dry out. And the Laneige mask is like, it's on another level. I don't know what they have in that. 
but I absolutely love it. So Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, the new version, the last one had like a peppermint essential oil in it and not everybody loved it. I didn't mind it, but like they came out with a new formula. Highly recommend checking that out. I know they have travel size if that works for you. And then also the, the Laneige lip mask. I do have the travel version of that and goes on every single flight with me. But yeah, guys, that's all that I have for you guys today. It was super chill. This was a fun video for me to do, and I hope you guys loved it. If there's anything that you cannot live without while traveling, let me know in the comments. I would love to try it out. I have an iPhone 12 Pro, and I don't know which camera to look at. Okay. This is the bottom one. Wait, this is the side one. This is the one on the left. This is the one on the left in the bottom. And this is one, the one on the left on the top. Okay, so now I'll know soon. I'll know soon which one, but not right now. All right, what was I saying? Yes. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything that I should try out travel-wise. I'm all ears. I love trying out new things. And yeah, I hope you guys loved today's video. Let me know down in the comments if you did. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. I would love to have you guys. And also follow me on Instagram. Send me a DM. I'd love to chat with you guys as well. So let's be friends. I am a lonely as fuck stay-at-home mom. And I would love some friends. <laughs> so DM me on Instagram. I'd love to hear from you. Bye, guys. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next week in my next video. Bye-bye. Did you guys peep this the whole time? No? <laughs> gotcha! <laughs>